Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to be going over installing MySQL on Costa OS. This makes it to where you can store your database uh, uh, tables, everything like that, from other apps on Costa OS into here and have it in one centralized location. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, I'm going over installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I created a get re re repo instead of having a bunch of guests uh, for each video. I created one. So uh, uh, the, the link for this will be down in the description. So I'm going to go to how to install MySQL on Casa OS right here. I'm going to click it. And then I have a readme, which might change by the time you get here. I'm not sure. Um, so a docker compose my mysql.yaml is right here. So we're going to go into there. And I'm going to break down each step. So version 3 of Docker Compose. And then I'm going to create services. And then the service underneath the service is going to be called MySQL. And then the image is MySQL, the official Docker image uh, from Docker Hub. And then I'm going to use version 8 tag. And then set custom name for the running container is going to be MySQL. And then I'm going to create some environment variables. So make sure you change these passwords and the user and you can also change the database if you want to so mysql root user will be password mysql database will be cost os mysql user will be big bear and then mysql password will be password so make sure you change the passwords at least and you can also change the user and you can change the default database that goes in and then i'm going to map the ports on the host side it's going to be 3306 and in the container, it's going to be 3306. And then I'm going to map a volume. So on the host side, it's going to be data. And then MySQL, you can change this if you'd, if you'd like. And then in the container, it's going to be var lib MySQL. Do not change the containers. So now th these will two us uh, sync back and forth. And um, so that's the Docker Compose for MySQL. So now that I've explained the Docker Compose to you, I'm going to go up here to copy. And then I'm going to go over to my Casa OS, my Zima board. Then I'm going to go to App Store. Then custom install up here. And then import. And then I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose. And then there we go. All information. Then I'm going to say submit. And then now we, we have it all filled out. So I'm going to type in a title. So I'll name it MySQL. And then I'm going to go over to my repo again. I'm gonna go back to here. Then I'm gonna copy this icon. I'm gonna go back to Casa OS. I'm gonna paste that in the icon spot here. And then it's not going to have a port because this isn't listening on any uh, a UI port or anything. So I'm going to check the information so it looks like it's right. So I'm going to say install down here. You can continue in background if you'd like. It's just downloading it off Docker Hub and getting it prepared and extracting it so installation is completed now it's downloading a newer image of mysql version 8 tag and then now it's done so you can see it's running over here you can see open tips where, where you can put your own tips in if you'd like. And then set settings, you can change the, the environment variables and different things again and save again. Then you can check for new, new updates. Then you can uninstall it, restart it, and power it off and on. So now that we've got uh, the MySQL up and running, 
I'm going to go over here and I'm going to test the MySQL. I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go back to my warp and I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to change the CASA OS IP address right here. Okay, now I'm going to hit return or enter. I'm going to type the MySQL password in and there we go. It successfully did connect. So now you can go back here. You can show databases now. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to paste it in and you can see that it is showing that of the databases now, the cost OS right there, the default one. Then you can go ahead and you can use Casa OS and then show tables. So I'm going to use Casa OS. Oh, the database has changed. And then now I'm going to show the tables. And there's no tables in here because it's an empty database. And then now I'm going to exit. So now we've tested MySQL and we've made sure it works. So I just installed MySQL on Casa OS. This makes it where you can centralize your data and put it in a spot for just your Casa OS apps um, to, uh, to have it in one spot. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord and stay tuned for more.